What do you think the ideal client? We train a lot of clients um, from all different walks of life, all different types of aircraft that come out of all different aviation experiences. Let's talk about somebody that is, you know, coming out of a 40 NG has, you know, maybe they have 150 hours of total flight time and they have the capability and the want and the need, especially flying in the Northeast. That plane's got, plane's got TKS in it, right? What do you think after flying it? How do you think a, a client with about 150 hours and a, and a private and instrument rating, how would they, you know, how would they transition to that aircraft? What, what is your opinion from an instructor's point of view? Uh, what do you, what do you think about that? You know, they shouldn't have much of a problem and it simply comes down to the FedEx system. You don't have to manage anything. You have a single lever. That lever is not even attached to anything in the engine. It's just basically a computer telling, you're kind of telling the computer what power setting you want to put it at and it does it for you. So from someone who maybe not had, might not have the experience of operating complex high performance engines, but wants something that has, we talked about with TKS system and you want to use the aircraft its full capability, that transition is not going to be as difficult as it might be in some historically previous aircraft. So I think between the FADEX system and the simplicity of the gear design, and also the you think you know it's a pretty fast plane, but it has double slotted flaps on it, right? So those flaps, using them, I was out there flying it, and you could feel like you know the stall speed really, really comes down. It allows for quite lower approach speeds, and approach speeds around 80 knots to 90 knots, something that is not going to be far off from your general aviation trainer. So it's not like you're going to be worried about, oh, you know, can I land this thing? How fast am I going to be going? Do I need a bunch of runway? With that flap design, it slows the plane down. And the slower you are during landing, the safer it is. That's why they've designed trainer aircraft that way. So they've taken that into consideration when building aircraft. So very similar to the rest of the Diamonds then, the fleet. You get all of the performance characteristics of the sports car without the sports car maintenance and the sports car time downtimes, obviously. Sports car headaches. Yeah, and you know, like everything in aviation, Wherever you are in aviation, whether it be all the way in commercial aviation, flying an airliner, or in general aviation where we are, um, you know, dispatch reliability is, 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 I think, the key. And I think a lot of clients will be excited to see that, that we don't see this being any more of a maintenance than anything else. Um, and for a performance piece of machinery that can actually take you somewhere with reasonable speeds, low fuel burn output, it's more environmentally friendly, has a great RAM presence, is very customizable, can give you all of the features that you want that any of the competitors on the market offer, but it also gives you all the performance opportunities.